Hi everybody, it's Dr. Stephanie Waite here. Um, so raise your hand, or you know, I know this is a video, but have you ever dieted? I would say probably millions of people diet all the time. Um, the diet and wellness fitness industry is a multi-billion dollar industry because we are so afraid of getting fat and we're so consumed with you know a certain body weight or body size that we all are trying to lose weight and we think the way to do that is to diet did you know that diets don't work yeah I hate to break it to you, but I can show you research study after research study after research study saying that people who diet end up gaining the weight back. Then what happens is you don't trust yourself anymore. So let's say you go on a diet and you lose weight and you're like, all right, feeling good and feeling great and you're feeling proud of yourself. And then something happens and you gain the weight back. So then you start another diet and maybe lose a little bit of weight um, and then you gain weight back because something happens or it's hard to follow the diet day after day and you um, start another diet. Each time you start a diet, you send a message to yourself, hey, you can't be trusted with food. You don't know what the F you're doing when it comes to eating. Diets teach us that there are good foods and there are bad foods and there are foods that we should eat and there are foods that we shouldn't eat. So whenever you sort of get off that dieting bandwagon and you're eating foods that are bad or you're eating foods that you shouldn't eat, you blame yourself. You feel guilty, you feel like a bad person. And think about how that impacts your self-esteem, right? You feel like a failure. You feel like a person who can't control themselves. You feel like a person who um, can't be trusted with what you're eating. Um, you can't trust your body. You can't trust your ability to feed yourself. And you end up feeling like shit. You feel like a terrible, horrible, unmotivated, undisciplined, lazy person. That's what diets do. Diets get you in this cycle of lose weight, um, gain it all back, feel guilty, feel like a bad person, lose weight, feel gain it all back, feel guilty, over and over and over again. And each time you diet, you get stuck in this, I'm a terrible person, I can't be trusted trap. Guess what? There are ways that you can learn to trust your ability to feed yourself and not get fat. Guess what? You can eat food. You can eat whatever the F you want to eat. Really, honestly, it's all about how you eat it, when you eat it, why you eat it. But your body knows what it wants. Your body is like so awesomely amazing. And it can tell you, hey, I'm wanting this. And it means that your body does know how to take care of itself and does know how to feed itself. We let that thinking and that diet mentality keep us from doing that. So one of the things that I love working with people on is this concept of intuitive eating. And it's this weird kind of word I know, but basically it just means that you can feed yourself and eat what you want and not have to worry about becoming obese or getting fat. That basically you can enjoy all foods and maintain weight. Maybe even if you are obese and you're having health problems, maybe you need to lose a little bit of weight, but it's all possible without getting stuck in this dieting rat trap that we get stuck in. There are several principles to intuitive eating. In fact, there are 10. Um, but I wanna talk about the first one today, which is self-care and self-love. The first way to get out of this rut, this dieting rut, is to kinda kick um, that that self-hatred that was caused by dieting, you know, that whole like, I'm a failure, I'm unmotivated, I'm undisciplined, that came from dieting and then losing weight and then gaining it all back and having to diet again. 
So the first thing is to learn to love yourself and to learn to trust yourself and take care of yourself. And when you're learning to love yourself and take care of yourself, it's easy to pay attention to like, am I hungry? What do I need to eat right now? What I prefer, like something heavy? Um, You know, do I want like a hamburger or do I want to eat something lighter because my body is just feeling that it wants, um, you know, something crispy and light today. When you can love yourself, and care for yourself, it's easier to get those messages. So here are um, five or six tips to help you start to love yourself today. The first is um, physical. How are you taking care of yourself physically? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you, um, you know, walking? Are you moving your body? Um, this isn't about strenuous exercise at all. It's just that we, our bodies are meant to move. Like, they, it enjoys it. It feels good when we can move our bodies. The second is, um, are you taking care of yourself emotionally and psychologically? Like, are you stuffing feelings? Or are you able to identify, hey, I'm feeling pretty stressed and I can like take care of myself when I'm stressed. I can do relaxation. I have someone that I can vent to. I have a therapist that I can talk to about these things. I have a really good support network that I can talk to about these things. Speaking of a support network, the third way to learn to care for yourself is nurturing the relationships that you have have. Do you make time for family? Do you make time for yourself with your friends? Are you able to go out and have lunch with a girlfriend? Are you able to, um, you know, in the evenings when you get home from work, are you able to kind of put the cell phone away and um, spend time with your family and your children, you know, enjoying dinner, enjoying going outside and um, playing in the park or something? The next one is spiritual, and I've said this, I can't even tell you how many times. We are, as a whole person, all of you, you are a spiritual being. I'm not saying religious at all, but that you have this spiritual connectedness with the planet, with yourself, with others, with the universe, with God, with um, whatever your higher power may be, whatever that looks like for you, that you are a person who has this deeper meaning and this deeper purpose. So how do you nurture that spiritual part of you? You know, do you attend worship services? Do you find time to just like sit in nature and be quiet and appreciate the beauty around you. Um, be thankful for the wonderful things and the gifts that you have in your life. That's all taking care of your spiritual being. The last part of this um, taking care and learning to love yourself piece is boundaries. We, um, gosh, I could go on and on and on about boundaries. It's not easy to talk about it in like a minute. But basically, how are you saying no? How are you um, putting in limits in your life for people and work and time so that you can Um, do what you want to do for yourself so that you can take care of yourself. So again, are you putting your cell phone and iPad and um, things away in the evenings when work is over? You know, when you do say at 6.30, I'm done for the day and I'm not going to work anymore until the next business day. It's a great boundary to start practicing. Um, Are you able to say no to people when they're asking you for things? You know, are you able to, um, you know, say, I can't do that right now. I have to do this for myself instead. You know, you're able to sort of see, I have all these things going on and I need to be telling people no. So I want you to try some of these things today. Like go and try something spiritual, emotional, physical, boundaries and relational, do one or more of those things for yourself today. Love yourself today. Take care of yourself. And it's going to help you have not only a better day, but maybe if you do it again tomorrow, you're going to have a better day tomorrow. I do want to say that this in no way is psychotherapy. This is no way counseling. This is just like a brief tidbit overview of things. Um, If you want to know how to apply these things, if you want to know how to do these things, email me. I'm going to have my contact information here for you. I would love to talk, chat with you over email, 
feel free to contact me um, by giving me a call. Check out the website. Again, all my contact information is here, but this is not psychotherapy, so it should not serve in any way for that. If this is helpful, don't forget to share it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. New videos are posted all the time. I hope that you are having a great day. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.